I am honored to talk to you today about my friend Bob. Bob Dion was a force of nature. He changed the world and touched countless lives with his giant heart, his incredibly loving spirit, and his unforgettable laugh. I was lucky enough to know Bob, and he and his wife, Deb, changed my life in ways they will never understand. Bob dedicated his life to telling stories, and to making people laugh, and producing audiobooks, and loving his beautiful wife, Deb, and making special memories with his family and friends. In 2013, Bob was diagnosed with ALS, and he chose to dedicate the rest of his life to spreading awareness about the disease. A little over a year after his diagnosis, Bob was in the final days of his life. And a little something called the Ice Bucket Challenge came about. As the videos began to multiply and the funds began to pour into the ALS Association, suddenly the disease that was rapidly robbing Bob of his autonomy and his voice, the disease that not many people had ever heard of or understood, the disease that was best known and most famous for taking the life of one of America's greatest baseball players, was what everyone was talking about. Now, there are many social media crazes that come and go, but this craze, it not only gave Bob hope in his final days, but it became the world's largest global social media phenomenon. And it also raised money that led to a pivotal discovery of the NEC1 gene, which is now known to be common in all ALS patients. This discovery of this gene is huge victory because the more we understand about this disease, the closer we are to curing it. The Ice Bucket Challenge helped the ALS Association, this is you, Bob, I know it is, helped the ALS Association get $100 million closer to Bob's dream of a billion. A billion more for research, a billion more for drug trials, and more discoveries like NEC1. A billion dollars for the science that will one day lead to a cure. Today, we continue that mission, and we challenge PJ Oakland, Ramon De Ocampo, Barbara Rosenblatt, Scott Brick, and Pat Fraley. Every August, until we find a cure, we will raise our voices and our buckets for Bob.